Hi everyone, welcome to Narayshay Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in the last video, I have explained how to execute the first application in Go programming language. See, program execution always starts with a function, and here it is in a Go programming also. Program execution starts with a main function only. Today, in this video, I am going to explain how to create a user defined function and how we are executing from the main function. See, in the last session only we have discussed, whenever you are defining a, a function, a function can be classified into many types. Depends on the way of taking input and returning the output, functions are classified into multiple different types. Here we will see few examples, how to define user functions and how to execute from the main function or from user functions and all. See here, the first program we are writing, the function is taking no input, nothing but no arguments, no arguments and no written values function. No written values function. The function is not taking input and the function is not giving the output. How can we define this function and how can we call this function? One program. As we know that program, everything we need to place inside the package called main. And here it is a print ln function is belongs to a predefined package that we have to import. The package name is a FMT. As I'll explain briefly about FMT and I'll show you the documentation in coming concepts. Here program execution starts with a function. As we know that here it is a every function we have to define using a keyword called FUNC and execution starts with a main function. Of course, it is not taking anything and execution starts here. You can give the tab space or you can write from the beginning no problem. Here it is a we are giving one message print ln print ln this is this is just starts starts at main function like this one message we are giving one message here it is a function main completed it will be executed automatically this print ln function is belongs to the format package p capital letter so whenever we are calling this one i mean who will call the main function means what that will be executed automatically. See, suppose here it is I am saving. I am saving on my desktop. On my desktop. Here it is just any name, just like test.go. Test.go. On my desktop, I have saved with the name is a test.go. Extension is a dot .go file. And who will execute means what? We should execute every program of any programming language manually from the command prompt. Nothing but operating system environment where every program executes. See here it is a location is on a desktop. So first is we are moving to that location desktop. And whenever we execute, how to execute with the help of Go, we are just executing the test.go file. This is the process of execution. Main function executes automatically. But in case of any user defined function you define that we have to call manually. We should execute, we should call invoke explicitly. So here we are writing that user function now. Function f u n c function, a simple function we are writing. Suppose here it is a say hi. This is the function. It is not taking any input. It is not taking any input inside here it is we are just printing the message print ln print ln here it is a hi everyone a simple message simple message we are writing is a function completed function completed but see if you just define the function no use once the function is ready that you have to call explicitly without call functions will not execute see here whenever we are executing this program again if you see the output see it will display only starts at main 
that will execute by default. How can we execute the remaining functions? For example, say hi, that you have to call here. You have to call here. Just here it is a say, the function name is a say hi, this is calling. This is calling. And here, followed by one more statement we are writing format dot print ln, print ln, and here it is a message we are writing ends, ends at main, ends at main, this one. See how it executes. Program execution starts from the main function, so control enters into the main, it will execute this message. And whenever you are calling this function, this is function call, then it will come to here and this message will display. And once the function execution is completed, it will send the control back to the place from where it has called. So here it is a last statement ends at main function execute. It will show. Now see here when we execute this, execute this. Now if you see the output, first execution starts at main. Next, when you call say hi, hi everyone message it is displaying and the control is back, ends at main is executing. See here, so what is the main advantage of function everywhere? Code reusability. A set of instructions, we just define it as a function and we can access every time it is required in the program. See here one time we are calling, sir how many times we can call no limitation, say hi, again we have called, say hi, again we have called. Here it is a one function we have called three times, no limitation, we can call n number of times. So here, first start set main will display, next when you call say hi, it will come to this function and it will execute hi everyone, it will go back, next statement is also say hi only. It will come to here and it will execute. Next statement is also say hi only. It will come and it will execute. And that last statement is a ends at main is executing. Ends at main. So when we execute this code, execute this code. Now here it is. Look at this. First start set main. Next hi everyone message is printing three times because you have called say hi three times. So three times it is printing. And now here it is finally end set main is executing. Sir, how many functions you can define means what? No limitation. N number of functions you can see. For example, here it is we are taking two functions. Function name is a first one is a ABC. Function name and this is inside ABC. Just one message to understand the flow. And next sir, one more function we are writing. Suppose function, function XYZ xyz and here it is just format dot print ln print ln and this is inside xyz we are writing inside xyz we are writing this one now here the so same program execution starts with main function so two functions we have defined two functions so suppose suppose if i am calling xyz xyz I have called from the main. Now look at the output. Look at the output. First execution starts from main. When you call xyz, only xyz will display. Only xyz. And sir, here it is a, in which order we defined, do we need to call in the same order? No. Once the functions has been defined, you can call in any order. Depends on the requirement. See here xyz only we have called, so xyz only is printing. Suppose if I call abc, if I call abc then first xyz inside xyz, next inside abc, next end set main. If you observe the output, if you observe the output, here is executing like this, start set main, inside the xyz inside the abc and ends at main it is executing like this so this is just defining a function one or more functions how we are executing from the main function sir can we access one user defined in from another user defined function yes but the flow we have to understand with the clear examples i'll explain in the next video hope you understood 
फर् मोर वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्रैबी चानेल थैंक यू